Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I like my Elytra landing pad. Um, it's very convenient being on top of a mountain, given that we have wings. Um, my network seems okay. Let's try this. So we're gonna we're gonna fly a little bit. We're gonna show you a couple things. Uh, XFX's automated farm is going gangbusters there, and the world seems to be loading. Do a little loop here at the cove. Yeah, very nice. Come on, you can load. Oh, this might be dangerous. So out here in the desert where I was originally going to put the uh, the pyramid, this is where, of course, the uh, we put the record farm. The record farm is a little broken. Um, hello, horsies. Oh, there's a couple of them. I don't know who these are. Okay. So the record farm's a little broken, but uh, we got a ton of records. We have so many records, it's not even funny. Um, oh. oh. The mob farm's still working. Wow! Oh, so Vex replaced the, uh, the, the villager. Interesting. So, uh, pardon me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so the, the sorting system is not uh, the cats. The cats despawned. We don't know what happened. Well, it looks like one of the dogs jumped out and died. So the, uh, the, the, the sorting system... Actually, there's supposed to be cat and dog up here as well. So the, the mob sorting system is not working. And, and so not really a, a records going on. But that's okay. Because we it kind of served its purpose. I think everybody on the server has a complete set of a complete record collection and we have plenty of others like for instance look at that over a chest a single chest filled with 11 which is my favorite record on the game um so yeah we're, we're doing pretty good on records you might have seen something in the background when you come over here <gasps> what is this this you probably already know is an iron farm so VexFX, uh, I, I keep saying, oh, we're going to build an Iron Titan, and it's a daunting amount of work. And honestly, I was running into a little bit of uh, Minecraft burnout slash fatigue, I think. Oh, hey, buddy. And, um, and so I have some long-term projects that I just haven't been making that much progress on. I'm working slowly on the pyramid, just doing the, the casing stones. It's slow. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a decent background task. But, here we go. Goodness gracious, look at this. So we've got we've got some iron and some uh, some poppies. We've been going in uh, AFK here and uh, getting as many golems as we can um my there's three villages three spawning pods up there so i i think i calculated that in theory it should produce about 120 uh iron ingots per hour so not the fastest thing in the world but uh <laughs> notice there's still uh there's still iron here so that's uh that's okay and this is that uh, little trick where you put carpet on top of a sign uh, and mops won't walk through I guess I don't know seems reasonably safe completely standard uh, uh, iron farm design made very similar to the the one that I made that was four times the size had four of these towers Boop. Um, last season but uh, I think this will tide us for now uh, VexFX built it saying hey we, we're going to need some iron for that guardian farm, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I need to get back to that. So, but he's right. I need iron for it. 
So we're going to uh, take some of the iron from here. I've been helping with the AFK duties and we will use it to build all the things that you need. You need tripwire hooks and mine carts and hoppers and um, yeah, those are the things that you need to iron for. It, it gets expensive pretty quickly. So anyway, that's out here. It's out away from everyone's bases, out away from the, the, the community area. So it's, it's removed and it's not gonna cause any lag or anything, but you know, it's pretty cool. So let's go, uh, let's take a little trip and I will show you something else. Okay, so here we are in the little, I don't know, I kind of call this my Ford operating base. The Mushroom Island is over there and the, uh, the Ocean Monument is over there. Let's see if I can do this while I'm recording. Come on. Oh, wasted a couple rockets, but anyway, so Ocean Monument, I'm busy draining water. Yeah, look at this. And uh, let me uh, grab some supplies and I'll show you what the process is. It's pretty typical, nothing too special. Um, pro tip. When you're uh, using sand to evacuate the water from an ocean monument, if you can arrange it, put a, a row of sand around the actual perimeter of the ocean monument. And then once you got that around, then go away and come back. And you don't have to worry about guardians outside this area here. You don't have to worry about them being underneath the monument. And that is helpful. Um, you have to do this area as well. And this is a little bit tricky because of the these bridges and everything. But once you get that done, then the underside is completely free of guardians. And you can go through and just go down. Uh, use your, you know, you have to segment it up and, and use the sponges or, I mean, drop sand. But then you can go and place sand underneath in between the pillars. Boop which you can't really see from here. Let's go over over here. Um, yeah, in between the pillars to block up the water. So there's still water underneath the monument. I'll take care of that after I tear down the monument. Um, but I've got, I've got, uh, oh, where am I gonna put this? I've got sponges here. I'll hang on to a couple of those. I'll grab some ladders. I'll grab some blocks. So the uh, and and I've, I've used up most of my sand, but I want some sand as well. So I grabbed a night vision potion so we can actually look down and see what's going on down in here. So let's drink that. Water breathing doesn't hurt either. So you could actually come down and look down and say, "Oh, look, there's no guardian stone here," um, and. Unfortunately, because the ocean monument is built on, on twos, it's kind of difficult to come up with... Oh, see, there's two of them down there. Um, it's kind of difficult to come up with uh, a, a segmenting strategy that works smoothly and covers the whole thing evenly. So I've got this row over here, and I, I wasn't... I don't know. I've got... These are way too small. But, um, but they, they should go quickly. Um, so it's time to start tearing this down and I don't know which way I need to do this because I've got all these all these cells created hey dude those guardians are so annoying uh, I settled on this 5x5 five five size I don't know if that's too big or not and when it gets into the center here because this section is is three of the uh, it's one and a half times the size but there's smaller things because there's structure underneath um, so I don't know, I segmented differently. And here I actually have a hold that goes down into the top of the, the monument itself. So I don't know, we'll see. I may have to revise the way I'm doing things here, but being able to block off the sides makes taking care of this, which is a big portion of the thing. I've got four blocks out to the side between the edge of the monument and my wall. And I want a little bit of space there. And I think four blocks will be a good amount. So yeah, here we go. Let's uh, let's take down some of this. So 
Once I get down there, I'm going to get a little... Oh, there's a guardian down there. I don't want that. Okay, so I want to take out this wall. Okay, that will work. It's easy to get a little lost. So, uh, what I found is it only takes a few sponge placements to get these smaller ones. Bloop. And we're done. And it actually is a little bit tricky on the on the Electra because it will whoops. Uh, it'll if I'm I tend to be heavy on the space bar when I'm dealing with the water like that. And as a result, I tend to uh, end up in fly mode when I'm in the water, which is dumb because it doesn't help. It doesn't help anybody. So we just do that. We knock down pillars of, of sand. Boop. And there's water on the other side of this, so we don't want to knock that out yet. Oops. This is all timing. So we'll knock that out, and then I'll climb up here, grab my sponges, and um, and I have plenty of sponges because I took down two different monuments. I have to figure out my lighting strategy here. I have to keep this lit up. Inside this area, on the monument itself, don't actually need lights. Don't actually need torches. Um, but it's it's nice to have them just to see, just to be able to see. Because the only thing that can spawn inside the bounty box of the ocean monument itself is our guardians, and I think squid. And the guardians, both of those require water. So in these sections where I've vacated the water, uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't matter. So now I do that. I don't have to pick up every last piece of sand. It's not entirely necessary. Uh, but then I'll take these and uh, climb up, climb up the wall. Oops. Oh, I'm not the most coordinated person in the world. And because, um, oh, this is going to, that's no good. Hmm. Ow. Oh, standing on the ladder makes you break these things really slowly. Um, but I'll have to do that for this one here. But I'll leave it. I'll leave it here for now because I don't. Wet sponges don't do me much good. But then I just come down to the next, the next section here, and just in case I do get lost, I want to remove the south and west walls. So there we go. Now this is three by five. Yeah, see I'm I'm flying. I'm in my flying mode right now, which is not great. But whatever. So if I can be consistent about the corners that I put these on um, and what I can do is I can stand on that guy up there and then uh, break them below me and fall down to here and I've got feather falling so it's not gonna hurt too bad so that is this is West all right so anyway I'm not gonna do this all on camera but that's what we're working on and then it's still once I get this uh, all the water evacuated, then I have to tear down the structure and have to figure out the right bounding area. So I have to put the markers in place so I know where the ocean monument was, tear it all down, and then build the farm. So there's still quite a bit of work to do. Um, and it's, I think I'm gonna pretty much do the same design as what I had on the last season so um, nothing special I just want sea lanterns
So we're going to build, uh, we're going to do this so we can get the prismarine crystals and make sea lanterns. Um, so that's it. Anyway, I think that was all the update I wanted to show. Um, I, uh, oh. Oh, goodness. There we go. Uh, I think that was all the update I wanted to show. Boop. Um, but uh, thank you for watching, and I'll we, we obviously will have more things going on in the future, but we'll uh, we will show that to you at a later time. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.